Hi, I'm Becky. Welcome back to Wellness in the Pelvis. I'm a pelvic floor PT here to help you understand more about your body, especially your pelvic health. And today we are going to talk about six things that happen to your vagina during sex. So let's shed some light on what's going on down there. Now, are there more than six things that change about your vagina during sex? Yeah, probably. And we're going to talk about more than just the vagina today, a little bit about the vulva and other reproductive organs too. I feel like this was an important thing to talk about just because so many patients and just people in general are lost in regard to what actually happens down there during sexual activity. We all kind of know at least a little bit about the male anatomy, but the female anatomy, not so much. So the first thing that happens is increased blood flow. And so all of the reproductive organs and just the whole pelvis in general gets a ton more blood. But in particular, the, um, the clitoris and the vaginal canal get tons more blood than what they used to, as well as the pelvic floor, which is a really important um, group of muscles that helps during sex. With increased blood flow, all sorts of good nutrients come in and with nutrients it's like food for us it's like an open buffet you are happy 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 um, that help brighten up that whole area in your pelvis to get it ready for some action okay this next one I think is really important um, so stick with me here this is your vaginal canal here from the front and from the side and people don't know this but your vagina gets longer during sexual activity. I mean, how do we not know this stuff? Not only does it get longer, but it gets wider. And this is what's called tenting. And it's so, especially if there's any sort of penetration, that there's plenty of room to move around. And then in addition to that tenting the vagina, the cervix, which is where the vagina and the uterus connect, and the uterus itself actually lift and move out of the way which makes sense. That way we're not just kind of poking around things that don't need poked around necessarily. Next is actually the clitoris, which really all you can see on the vulva, the outside is just the tip of the clitoris, but the clitoris, the whole thing actually stiffens and swells up to three times its original size. Guys, it's basically a mini erection. The clitoris also may cover itself underneath the clitoral hood, um, which is similar to the foreskin of a penis. And so that is just to kind of protect those very sensitive nerve endings on the end of the clitoris. Next is all those pelvic floor muscles. So my job as a pelvic floor PT, all the muscles here on the superficial side are closer to the skin and deep on the inside. As sexual activity progresses closer and closer to orgasm, those muscles tighten and then tighten a little more and tighten a little more until orgasm happens or until the end of sexual activity, of course. And then lastly is lubrication, of course. But how that happens, there are a couple different um, things that make lubricant, but the main one that's active during sexual activity are what's called Bartholin glands. And you have, it's this blue thing here. You actually have one on each side and they're very small. Um, you can't really feel them unless there's something wrong with them. But so when you get all that extra blood flow that we mentioned at the beginning, these glands start really working to help lube up the vagina so that way there's no friction. Now remember, all these changes take time to happen during sexual activity and every person's different. So to the degree that one person may find that their vagina lengthens, it may be different for someone else. So what questions do you have? Or what things did I miss? I totally expect there to be a second version of this video. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for so much for checking out my work, guys. It means a ton to me. This has been such a fun project. And